weather is all going west. When you see my balloon inflate uh, and stand up, you can start your cold air. The modern hot air balloon system was developed in the late 50s for the armed services. They were going to use it for reconnaissance. Uh, they thought it was a way they could, you know, gain information and data over, you know, difficult terrain. But then when they developed the balloon, they found they have to replace the fuel about every hour or two. So it really wasn't any practicality to it from, a, from the armed services, but the people had a great time flying the balloons. So uh, that's where the sport ballooning took off. Lift the basket. Well, the early 70s, there was about, by that time, there was about two, 300 balloons in the country. And now there's thousands, and people have been enjoying the sport for, you know, 30, 40 years. A lot of people think you just go up wherever the wind takes you, but actually there's a lot of maneuvering skill, and you learn to, to uh, respect the, the mother nature and the winds and the weather, and it humbles you as a person, really, because, uh, you know, when you're in a car, you can take the steering wheel and go this way and that way, and, you know, fast or slow, but in a balloon, you really have to kind of take in your, your skills along with mother nature and then the limitations of the equipment. So it's kind of an art and a science to be a balloon pilot. Uh, I got hooked from the maneuverability of them. I, I, when I was a teenager, I, could, I would watch the balloons land and they'd always land next to the road, next to the truck. And I thought, gosh, there must be really something to this. And I was introduced to a commercial pilot through a mutual friend. And he said, oh yeah, what we do is we use the different layers of wind at different elevations to steer the balloon. And I said, really? He said, yeah, down on the deck, you might have a wind going, you know, or on the surface, you might have wind going out of the south, but as little as 100 feet up, you could have a wind the exact opposite direction, coming out of the north. And then they used the layers to steer the balloon to a good landing site. So that's what got me hooked.